Yep. Ah, I tell you. You read his biography. That's how you know. Yep. It's unbelievable, I'll tell you. Yep. He's going crazy. Well, what was it? My T TMs is not here, right? Oh, so you do good when he's not here. Yeah, you do good when he's not here. All right, what do we got? We got some more sports news. Don't forget, fellas, we have one more question going, and Palmer fan can't get in that one because it's an underdog. So anybody that has a one tonight is going to have a chance. Yeah, but our winner is going to pick from the DeMarco Murray or the Ivan Rodriguez jersey right there. All right, what do we got? We got some basketball and hockey to report on, and the Knicks, oh, they have big problems. Well, first of all, they're playing the Heat. And they're no match for the Heat. What are you going to do? That's the way it is. Yep. Yeah, no match from the beginning. I don't care who they had. They, they're no match for the Heat. And then Amari Stoudemire did something stupid. Yep. And what I do? I, I made up a, one of my famous headlines, fellas. I don't even know what was in the paper today because I haven't read the paper yet today. But here's the headline they should have. Nick's playoffs hopes extinguished. Amari puts fire out. That should be the headline. Because now he's out. Because what did he do? He, he punched a stupid uh, fire extinguisher case. Is that brains, fellas? It's unbelievable. Just because you pay these guys millions and millions of dollars and they're seven foot tall or whatever and can play basketball doesn't mean they're smart, fellas. Nope. Oh, oh. I hate to tell you. I hate to burst that bubble. Yeah. But what are you going to do? Eh? I think that even beats the, uh, what's his name? Who was that dope that punched the wall for the Yankees? I forget now. I'm trying to remember. He came from the Dodgers. Who was that guy? I'm trying to remember now. You guys remember. The guy that punched the wall for the Yankees. The pitcher. Uh, Kevin Brown. Kevin Brown. That's it. Kevin Brown. Yeah. Yeah, he punched his wall and broke his hand, yeah. But, hey, the Nets news. They're moving to Brooklyn. Who cares? Who cares they're moving to Brooklyn? I don't care no more. But there was something in the news this morning about them. It says they're going to have a black and white logo. They're trying to imitate the Raiders, Raider Nation. That's what I heard. They're trying to imitate the Raiders. They actually have a black and white net logo. Is that crazy? Yeah. Yeah, I know it's ugly, but what are you going to do? That, that's, that's what they said. Yeah. But oh, the, the playoffs, the hockey playoffs are going on. The Devils, they're down, but they're going to come. I got to come back. But we're going to. It's going to be tough because Kovalchuk is out for tonight. But we'll see. They got to come back. They got to get them Flyers. It's going to be tough, but we got to fight. Oh, yeah. And the Rangers, what are they doing? They're one-on-one -on -one against the Capitals. What's his name beat him? Ovechkin. Uh, he had some shot. That was some shot to beat them. But, hey, they can come back. We'll see what happens. We're, we're looking for a Subway Hockey Stanley Cups. Yeah? So get ready. So we'll see what happens. Yeah? All right, we're going for our 11th question. And it's an underdog question tonight. Underdog question. That's our 11th question. Now, if you have won a prize, if you're one of the six people that have won a prize here tonight, you're not eligible to answer. So don't even answer. It's only the people that have not won, the underdogs, that have a chance for this 11th question. All right, so get ready. Good luck. Yep. And Palmer Fave's not in it for once. All right, here we go. We have a look ahead. Tops 50. Derek Jeter card for our underdog prize because Derek Jeter likes the underdogs. He told me, yep, he likes the underdogs. Yep. Okay, here we go with the question. Number 11, it's only the underdogs. How many home runs did Willie Stargell have in 1966? That's all I want to know. How many home runs did Willie Stargell have in 1966? And I'm looking, and I don't see it yet. I'm looking. It's not one million. I'm looking, and I don't see it yet. Thirty-three is correct. Thirty-three. Who's got it first? Do me a favor, Raider Nation. Put the, his name. I can't see his name, but it's thirty-three. 
33 over there. 33. Oh, jeez. 30. No, no swearing. No swearing. 33. It's, uh, who is it? Raider Nation, do me a favor. Put the guy's name. Do you see it? 33 was correct. Let's see. Who was it? Bonafide. Okay, Bonafide's got it. Bonafide's got the Derek Jeter. All right, let me write that down. Bonafide's got the Derek Jeter and a chance for the big box. All right, Bonafide. Okay, he's got the Derek Jeter, all on the dog prize, and a ticket for the big box. Okay, let's write that down. All right. Okay, so we got our 11 questions are done. We've got one, two, three, four, five, seven different people that have a chance for the big box. So let's get it and start loading it. All right, let's take these out of here. Okay, fellas, here we go. We're going to start loading. We got Palmer fans in there. Raider Nation 75. G Man, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bonafide. Palmer Fan. Sharks for Life. Twelve. DJP nine. Palmer fan again. GJV one two three. Going in. Palmer fan. And Palmer fan. Let me close up the box. I tell you that Palmer fan was good tonight. It must, you know what it was, fellas? I think it was that Three Stooges intro. Must have been that Three Stooges intro that gave Palmer fan luck. Unbelievable. All right, we're going to shake it up, fellas. We're going to shake it up. All right. All right, fellas. We got it all shook up. All shook up here. All right. Don't forget, fellas. If you've won, and I actually have a couple of people from a couple of weeks, last couple of weeks that have not sent their address. If you don't send your address, I can't send the prize. So if you won in the last week or two and haven't gotten a prize, you know, you know that's why I haven't gotten your address. There's a couple of people in the back. The cards are still in the back, fellas. So if you haven't gotten your prize, send me your address. That's a good reason why you didn't get nothing. So, if you want something tonight, send it to me. All right, here we go. We're going to open it up. Now, don't forget, fellas, our winner tonight will have a choice of the game face jersey, Ivan Rodriguez, or the aspiring legacy jersey of DeMarco Murray. All right, good luck to everybody. Here we go. I'm going in. Okay, fellas. The winner of our trivia tonight, I got it right here, Raider Nation 75's got it, Raider Nation 75, unbelievable, I think he only had one ticket in there too, Raider Nation 75's got it, now Raider Nation, what do you want to get, do you want the DeMarco Murray or the Ivan Rodriguez? DeMarco Murray, what do you think? Let's see. DeMarco Murray, all right. Raider Nation's getting the DeMarco Murray to go along with those fancy wrestling cards. All right, fellas. Now, we'll be back next week. Next week. What's our prize for next week? Let's see here. Oh, look at this here. We actually had this guy as a question. Next week, we'll have another choice, fellas. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Before next week, i got to do sports page news. I forgot to do the sports page news. I knew I forgot something, fellas. It's bad. That guy, that guy that came in the store threw me off. That's what it was. 
We got sports page news going on. Don't forget, this Saturday at the sports page, if you're local in the area, New Jersey, we have an annual flip card contest. Everybody's eligible to enter. It's going to be Saturday, May 5th from 2 to 4 p.m. We'll have an adult and kids division with a first and second prize for each. Refreshments will be served and entry is absolutely free. But you have to be here promptly at 2 p.m. because we start pulling the brackets. And also, we're going to be having a box break, fellas. Box break. There's going to be a 2012 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball box break. It's going to be Thursday, May 10th from 6.30 to 7.30. We'll be opening up only one box. You'll get two teams per spot at random. There are 15 spots available at $10 per spot. You may buy as many spots as you like. Payment must be when signing up. Refreshments will be served. We will have YouTube and we're also going to have Blog TV box break covered. So if, okay, Raider Nation wants a spot. All right. Raider Nation, I'll tell you what, we'll do it right now. Because you're a regular on there. You're on every box break we got. Yep. We're in Mars, Mars Plains, New Jersey. But Raider Nation, we got 7, 9, 11, 12, 14, and 15 available. I'll tell you again. 7, 9, 11, 12, 14, and 15. What spot you want? 7. Uh, Raider Nation's going in for that one. Raider Nation 75's got the number 7 spot. All right. If anybody else wants a spot, yep, just give me a message during the week as long as I have some available. Right now I have five spots available if anybody wants to get in. Five spots available. Uh, also, you can message me anytime. First five or progression will get it. Okay. Also, next week, yeah. Oh, you're you're down. Are you down in Florida? Oh, okay. Nineteen sixty-eight Willie Stargell. Somebody's going to get a pick of that one. The sixty-eight Willie Stargell next week. Or oh, I don't know. I don't know if Raider Nation's got this one. We've got a winning materials patch card of Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott SPX winning material patch card. Some our lucky winner next week is going to have a choice of the Ronnie Lott. Or the 68 Stargell. Yep. Oh, you don't have that one. So, fellas, I don't know. If you guys win and Raider Nation don't next week, it might be good trade bait. He might be willing to trade for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You choose the lot. First, you got to win. You won this week. But, who? I don't know about next week. We'll see what happens. All right, fellas. We're going to be cleaning up and getting out of here. Everybody, to get a chance... Stop by the sports page at 540 HP Will Avenue, Morris Plains, New Jersey, or Sports PG on eBay. We got a lot of nice stuff on there. All the auctions starting at 95 cents. Yep, a big flip card contest this weekend, too, if you're around. That's 540 HP Will Avenue, Morris Plains, New Jersey. All right, fellas, have a good week. We'll see you later. I'm going to clean up and get out of here. Take care now. We'll see you later on. The three stooges. We hope you like them too many. Thank you. Hello. 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 Oh. Are you listening? Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Da -da Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. What? Careful, all the numb skulls hitting here with double pipes and golf balls. Smashing the face will be an overzealous. Just spin on the floor and say, Okay, so for when you're playing host, you're the best of stacks in your car. The mediocre, yeah, still the deal. Touch you some slack. Cause you got four teeth in the your back. Next day, it's in high class lunch. And the boy below want you to serve something. See if Lyle Bell has got a rug to cut. And you're dancing around with a spring on your butt. You are trying, but ties are flying. Because five club of guests are really trying. They want to give you lessons on dance and loose. So come on, fat so we'll just bust the shoes. Just 
Get unemployed now, so annoyed Cause you can't see yourself a pet boy Looking for a job all over the town And everywhere is always a big letdown Who stop begging, a nice big picking A home with eggs and every shake And you're writing up the moves with a song and joke Block your eyes, cause here comes the Pope Your movie's showing, so you're going Now's the time to be curving Larry Moe See it just stop, stop the show And everything's okay when you hear it they sing hello to answer the telephone canaries are green, they ain't yellow You're laughing at the boys on the screen that's huge And what comes next? Hey, what's the tune? They're bringing a picture later I'm not watching the news I'm not watching the news Just watch the tune In the city, living freely, looking for a guy who's in the same feeling. You tell a funny joke, you can make it stay when you want a bigger paycheck. He says, No way. James are funny, they want money. You are the bear and they are the honey. You ain't cousin Basil, but you just a boy. Your calling card is not so hard. Have rock and roll travel near and far. You do some trip like you're playing hockey. Let's get up the sack. Doing the pocket, empty, one red empty. Can't even buy a box to get empty. Even though you're broken, fired as a bluesy. Don't just stand there, but the city. Alright, Brian. Just watch the story. Break it down for me, fellas. <laughs> Harry looks like Larry with the pork to buy an air. It's kind of scary. Say that's a good joke. He thinks it's cool. He says they mind him of reform school. You say you'll be like to see a movie, but he wants to eat because he's feeling kind of gloomy. The capital charge you an arm and a leg for a piece of burnt toast and a glass of air. You stop thinking this food is thinking. Life is a gift for you all thinking. You want to be a man, get two drink beers. You'll be the music for the last 10 years. When things are crappy, don't take a nap. See, there's only one thing that really makes you happy. You gotta stay fresh and don't be a screw. Now what comes next? Hey, fuck the two. Okay, you're going to like this part of my life.